Hey there, it's Jimmy again, and today we are up in Wyoming. We're in a junkyard that I go to every once in a while, and uh, got some interesting things. We've seen a few of the vehicles uh, from here before, uh, including the little tractor series I did last year, a couple years ago. But today I've got a little stash of snowmobiles, and I know absolutely nothing about snowmobiles, except that I've ridden one once on some kind of snowmobiling tour. It was pretty fun, uh, really cold, but, um, yeah, kind of like a motorcycle, but different. A little softer when you land, uh, if something goes wrong. But uh, let's take a look. We've got five here all lined up. Um, and let's kind of talk about them. I don't know a lot about them, so please forgive me. But I know some of you guys absolutely well. And even if you've never ridden one, they're kind of fascinating, I think. So let's start right here. This is a Polaris. And it's an Indy Light, I guess, is the model. This one was last registered in 2011 in Colorado. So it's older than that. Actually, this one has a 94 sticker. So I'm guessing this is a 90s machine. Somebody here obviously will know. Let's take a look at the dashboard. It looks like, wow, well, so you can go up to 100 miles an hour. Or the speedometer goes up to 100 miles an hour. And it's 2310, I believe that's hours, right? Not miles on these. So the odometer, whatever count, is 2310. And um, what else do we have? A little switch here, which I don't know, is either on, or, no, that's ignitions over here. This one might be for the lights. Then there's a fuel gauge right there, and that's how you fill the fuel tank. Under the seat is nothing. And, but let's see if we can pop the hood. Yeah, usually these are reverse opening, kind of like a, some of the better 90s Buicks or most BMWs. So very, very sporting, I like that. And also, I guess, stops it from opening up by accident. So this looks like it's a twin cylinder uh, belt drive, as I believe they all are, or mostly. Are they all? I don't know. I'm sure at some point they would chain drive. But I think everything modern is, uh, is belt. So, like I said, I don't know that much about these at all. But figured somebody here might have some experience with one of these. I believe Polaris's would be made in the U.S. Is that correct? Uh, I don't know, but someone will tell us. Oh, here we go. This is model number 0913033, made in the USA. So whatever that model is, it's kind of interesting. It's a 340. So I'm assuming that's 340 cc's from this little inline twin with two carbs. And uh, yeah, very interesting. So let's move on to the next one, which is an Arctic Cat Bearcat. And this one's bigger. This is more of a cruiser I think um, it's got the seat with the rack and the sissy bar on the back so sort of like a gold ring for the snow I guess pretty interesting big belt taillight obviously like I said Arctic cat and it's a 340 again so very similar I guess in that respect to uh, size class to the uh, Polaris Indy light over here no windshield this one also is a hundred mile an hour speedometer with 3,868 hours on it or miles? I guess hours. I don't know. Or is that miles? I really don't know. Someone tell us if that's a big reading or a small reading. Again, another twin cylinder. Pretty interesting here under the hood. It's very much like a small, tiny car or motorcycle, really, I guess. And I guess these are all, are they all air cooled? I guess, I mean, you want to use when it's really cold out, right? Really wouldn't need any water cooling. Got a bigger belt, and this, I guess, is a spare belt. That's interesting. Tells you the main jet chart for the carb, depending on the altitude. And this is a 1996 Bearcat 340. So now we actually know what exactly it is. That's a quite a big hood there with the induction scoop. Kind of like this one. The green color is cool, so not bad. Big headlight. Let's see if we can figure out how old this one is. Is there a tag on it? VIN number starts at 96, so I assume that's a 96. Yeah, manufactured in 0895. So this will be a 96 model. And low look, the key is still here. That's the Arctic Cat branded key. It's kind of cool. I like that. Choked is down there, and then. Warmer, off, warmer thumb, hand thumb. So I guess you can, is that to warm up the, the hand grips? Uh, I don't know. So 
we've got uh, headlights, something to park, and that's obviously the throttle, and this, the brake, parking brake, who knows. Um, interesting, interesting, you've got a little rear view mirror type thing going on there. Let's go on to the next one, which is also an Arctic Cat. So this one is an Arctic Cat, and the model is Cougar. It's a little more, well, more pieces are missing from this one. But let's see, I kind of, I really dig the old Arctic Cat logo. That's nice, nice piece of design. It's also got a square headlight, so I guess it's more modern than older ones. This one's mainly a Wyoming machine. Looks like first sticker is from 93, but we'll take a look and see if we can figure out how old this one is. RPM gauge, and that one's all clouded over, so who knows. I'm not sure what AFS stands for, but Arctic Cat Spirit is on the cover. Also a twin cylinder. Pretty cool. See the suspension there, the inboard coil, coil suspension. I like that, and then big belt drive again right there and uh, also has a carburetor main jet um, chart don't run the engine with the drive belt removed or without the shield in place okay that makes sense so you don't get taught in it and get sucked into it somehow this is a I guess a fiberglass cover I guess they all are fiberglass or plastic some sort of it's kind of interesting how the headlights kind of bolted in place there it is adjustable neat let's take a look and see if we can Find the data plate. So manufacturer date here is 1984, I think. Serial number is 8504233. So this might be an 85 model. Kind of looks like it, mid 80s. Arctic Cat Cougar AFS, very cool. This one's also pretty beat. This one, we have a Japanese model now. This is a Yamaha and uh, going on here look it's got a little trunk that's cool a vinyl flap for it and a trailer hitch like that let's take a look here I guess it's a Yamaha Exciter yeah, I'm excited 3050 on the uh, odometer 10 or 8500 rpm high beam water temp oil level that's kind of nice that gives you all that high and low beams warnings blah 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 Pretty comfortable looking seat. And then here we have, I guess they're all twins, right? So this one's a Yamaha, obviously. So we'd have the Yamaha engine. In concept, it's pretty similar to all the other ones. But uh, yeah, suspension's outboard in this case. It's got the big belt as per usual. And then what's this one have? A defrogger for low and high. So it's a defrogger, do some kind of defogging or something, who knows? But somebody please let us know. How old is this one? Let's see if we can find a data plate on here. Ah, uh, it's certified. I don't see a plate. I see serial number 82M002510. So I guess it's a 1982 model, maybe, it looks pretty old. So what, almost, well, over 40 years old. The Wyomingers do love their snowboarding. There's actually, there's a lot of snowboarding around here. I'm snowboarding, snowmobiling, not snowboarding. There's a lot of snowmobiling options around here. We're kind of in the Cheyenne area, but not where the altitude's high and lots of mountains around. So lots of places to play. And then this one, this is the biggest of the bunch, I think. And what's this, what is this one? This is a Dyna, let's see. You know, I do not know which one, what this is. So it does not say, obviously. So it's a mystery one. We have a large twin headlight there. You got some checkered flags, which are always good. Resident Snowmobile, Wyoming. Let's pop the hood. Whoa, this one's a triple. Look at that. So they're not all twins. This one's triple. Painted pink on top. Very cool. That always adds. Maybe this was a ladies ride. Who knows, or you know, not casting any, whatever, it works for everybody. And uh, let's see, still can't tell what brand it is. 
but this kind of looks like the Arctic Cats where they had the spare belt. So maybe it is. This is made in the USA. Pretty cool with a triple carb. I like that. And let's look at the gauges here. So 5,429 on the odometer, 10,000 RPM, RPM gauge. Uh, oh, this, did that say Polaris? Yes, this is a Polaris. Okay, so it is a Polaris. It's pretty big. And it dates back to, let's take a look, see. Well, serial number just says 2662742, which does not help. So I have no idea what year this is. Back here it says R&M Lightning Products with a phone number. So maybe that was the dealership. And you've got a flap just like the Yamaha did with a little trunk, which has spark plugs in it. I guess that's an essential thing that you should have with you. I uh, you got the big flap on back that says Polaris. Okay. Pretty cool. This looks pretty cozy. It looks pretty fast. It's made in the USA. Always a good thing. Very cool. Yeah, so I hope you liked our little, I guess that's the end of it for now. Um, I hope you liked our little snowmobile tour for today. Um, as usual, if you liked what you see, please do hit subscribe and like. Leave your comments below if you know anything about these. Like I said, I'm no expert, so you guys probably know a lot more than I do. But uh, yeah, subscribe and like. Turn on notifications so we'll let you know whenever we do another video. And like I said, we do cars, trucks, tractors, vans, and now even snowmobiles from all over the world. So thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Happy winter. Bye.